Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna do a tour review on the Transformers Insecticons. Hey there everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm gonna do a tour review on the Insecticons. This is not the G1, but it's a you know, remake of the retro G1. Um, this is the Legend class, which is the smaller Transformers class. So I got three of the Insecticons. There's the original three of them. And this is Kickback, this is Shrapnel, and this is Bombshell. So Shrapnel is the leader of the Insecticons. And they form a team of three. But if you watch the G1 cartoon, they could multiply themselves into thousands or hundreds. So the cool thing I like about them is they're not really part of the Decepticon. They don't follow the orders of Megatron. They only join forces with Megatron for their own benefit. If you watch the original G1 cartoon, you probably know why. They only want to join when there's a benefit for them. And sometimes they even go against Megatron. So I want to, the first I want to talk about is this is Kickback. The so kickback is uh, Grasshopper Insecticons, and you can see he looked exactly like a grasshopper with the leg. Here's his rear, and this is his head, and those are his legs. So you look at the head. So in order to transform this guy, it's not that hard. Just a few steps. So you pull this back, and you pull this bag and you pull his arm up. His arm is tucked under here. And that's his right arm. And you pull this side up and it goes in this little peg. So that's his arm. And the leg is pretty easy. Just push this one in and pull out. Hold on. So the leg is, you fold this one in, you push it in, so that's his leg. So it forms his foot, as you can see right here. It doesn't protrude out as much, so you need to fold his grasshopper leg and you push in, so that's his leg. And you fold this back and you fold up. So there you go. And his wing is up like this. And that's his arm and his head all you have to do is turn it around so the articulation on this guy is really good so he can move his arm up and down or side to side on both sides and the, he could spin it 360 degrees except for this this is in the way so that's as far as that's it could go so because that's in the way, but yeah, this guy can pretty much pull his arm all the way back. And there's an elbow bend, about 120 degrees, or a little bit more, more than 90 degrees, I know for that for sure. So, and the leg, he can do a back kick, forward kick, side kick, or even a split, you can see right there. And another cool thing that he has is his body you can pull out this and store something in there maybe anajon cubes or something like that so something small enough to fit inside so this is kickback unfortunately this these guy doesn't come with weapons so they have to pose like that without their weapons so the original g1 comes with the weapons like a like a laser pistol so next one is the leader of the Insecticons, his name is Shrapnel, so this is Shrapnel, and he's a stag beetle, you can see he has six legs on the bottom, and this is his rear, and that's his body, and that's the horn, he doesn't really have a head really, except unless you count this as their eyes, and that's his head. But yeah, to transform this guy is pretty simple. You pull out the leg, separate it, because the peg sticks in, sticks in together like that to make it stay together. So what you have to do is you 
turn this on the side, fold up his foot, and that's his left leg. Let's do the same on the other side. Sorry, this is kind of difficult. So you fold on the side, there you go. And this puts out, and you push this part in, up like this. So that's form his lower half. And his arms right here, tuck on the bottom. So you pull his arm out. And you pull his body down, you pull out and down so reveal his head so his articulation is pretty much similar to the other guy but there's stuff that in the way but yeah yes you can see here he has a 360 spin on his arm the elbow could fold spin on the elbow so about 90 degrees a little bit more same with this side Men on his elbow. So that's he has a small head, and you can see here that's the the, the symbol insect. I mean Decepticon symbol. And for the other leg, just fold in the back like this. And his leg, there's a bend on the knee too. And you can kick back, forward, and does also a split. So he's pretty much like kickback, but um, yeah, the thing is um, this guy came out first and he came out during the power of the primes and this guy came out last and he came out the return of the titans transformers line. So they're both legend class, but they're like different size, so they're different height. As you can see here, he's a little bit shorter, but he's the leader. I wish they can make him, you know, similar size. But as you see here, the yellow is different color. The purple is about the same, but the yellow is different. I wish they make the same yellow on both guys. So it looks like part of the team instead of like, you know, different. So last but not least, this is Bombshell. And he's the ball weevil um, insect. And he has this horn right here, and that horn is his gun. So as you can see here, he has six legs, his arm tucked on the bottom. This is his rear. And I guess this is his eyes. And yeah, so to transform this guy, it's pretty much easy to you just undo the leg. It's, so you spin 300, 180 degrees, and that's his arm. And in order to get his head, you just fold back and that's his gun, but you can't mount his gun. So that's the disappointment of all these Transformers that doesn't come with their own weapons. Yeah, but this guy has a swivel, like a swivel on the waist and he can go 360 degrees. The arm here is a lot better than the other two because it can spin the full circle. Good elbow bend. But the one disappointment about this guy is this his hand doesn't look like a hand. It has a little thing right here. It looks like a thruster. So, but his head, that's a cool scope of his head. Resemble his real G1 from the original G1 Transformers. Um, the leg, he can do a kick and a rear kick. And there's also a bend on the knee. Also on the arm, he has a 90 degrees bend on the elbow but yeah so these are the three guys but they're all in different sizes so bombshell is the largest and then kickback then shrapno yeah they look cool but since this guy came out during the combiner wars and these all came out in different years. So that's why I think that's why they're different sizes and different colors. I wish they came out all at once, just like the G1. But yeah, they look pretty cool together. Um, they're like a team. 
So let me fold this back here and this one fold back. So it won't get in the way when you're standing. But yeah. So I hope you liked my video. Sorry, it's a little bit like you know long. But I hope you like my video. Um, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And once you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get future notification of my new videos on my toy channel. So I hope you like it. And this is the Insecticons. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.